Hey guys, today I've got a two-in-one video. I'm going to be doing my June favourites and my June empties and the reason being is June has been a rather busy month for me. Um, I've got a new car, it was my birthday, we bought a house which needed decorating and I've been to IMATS. So a lot's been going on so I haven't really had a lot of time to sit down and really do my makeup in the morning and get ready or had the chance to focus on using up products. So I don't have that many favourites and I don't have that many empties to share with you so I figured I would just combine the two videos into one rather than having two very short videos. So I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to go ahead and get started with my favourites. Now, like I said, I haven't had a lot of time in the mornings to get ready. A lot of the days um, when we were doing up the house, I didn't even bother to wear makeup because we weren't going anywhere. We were just doing up the house and painting and stuff, and I was getting paint on me and things like that, so it's kind of pointless to wear makeup. So on the days when I did feel like wearing a little bit of makeup, I was using my Sleek um, Storm Palette to do my eye makeup and I will show you which colours I use. I used this light champagne colour here all over the lid and then this light matte brown colour in the crease and then this darker matte brown colour here um, just on the outer corner to deepen things up a little bit and that was just a very basic, very quick look that I was pulling out a lot of days when I did feel like wearing a little bit of makeup but I didn't have a lot of time to get ready so I've really been loving my sleek palette this month. I've also really been enjoying using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara this month. When I first got this I didn't like it and I've had this for a few months now and I keep going back to it to try it out and um, the bristles, I'll show you actually, it'll be easier to show you than to try and explain it. I don't know if you can tell but the bristles kind of form a cross shape, they don't kind of go out in spokes all around, there's just four kind of spokes if you will. So I found this kind of difficult to apply to begin with and my lashes would clump together and I could just, it took too much work to use this mascara to make it look good so I kind of shied away from it for the most part but I don't know what it is just recently whether it's gotten a little bit drier because it's been open for a while but this is now working really nicely and this has been my go-to mascara throughout the month of June so I've really been enjoying using that. And then a new purchase that I've been enjoying using is the Maybelline um, Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer. I think I mentioned this in a haul possibly, or I've tweeted about it or something like that. I know I've mentioned this um, when I got this. When did I get this? Maybe end of May, beginning of June? Um, I've been waiting for this to come out for the longest time. Makeup by Tiffany D has raved about this concealer for ages and ages and ages, so as soon as I saw it I knew I had to get it. Basically it's a twist up concealer and it has a sponge tip. So you twist it up and the product kind of comes out at the end of the sponge and then you use the sponge to apply it. Um, I just use this as an under eye concealer and it works really really nicely. The fact that it's a sponge means that it applies a really light layer underneath your eyes and then I just pat it in with a ring finger and it just it covers the area really nicely, it kind of brightens it a little bit as well but um, it doesn't look cake or anything because it's applying a thin layer with the sponge you're not caking on product and then patting it in, it doesn't um, crease too badly I find it does crease if I apply this and then apply my powder foundation over the top so I'll do um, foundation and then conceal it on my face for like any blemishes or redness or anything like that then apply my face powder and then apply this underneath my eye area and it doesn't seem to crease when I apply it that way around. So if you are finding this creases on you, try using it that way around. Don't put a powder over the top. So yeah, I've really, really been enjoying this um, concealer and I will definitely repurchase it when I run out. I've used up, I don't know if you can see how much I've used up. Um, I don't think this will run out too quickly whatsoever because like I say, it applies a really thin layer um, when you apply it. So this should last me a good while. And the shade I have is in light if anybody's wondering. Now onto a hair product. This is actually something that I got in a recent Birchbox, I believe. This is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner. This is so, so nice. First of all, it smells delicious. I don't know. It reminds me of... Actually, I tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the Sun Goddess um, self-tanning, like sunless self, sunless self-tanner. So I really like the scent. It's kind of like the Britney Spears fantasy kind of perfume, kind of, is what it reminds me of. Um, secondly is the pump. It mists out such a fine mist. It doesn't... Some mist, like um, pump spray products, I find the spray comes out too concentrated and you end up with kind of wet patches on your hair. This actually mists out the product really, really nicely. Um, so it just kind of 
leaves a light layer on your hair, it doesn't make it damp or too wet or anything to work with, you're not having to apply this and then wait for a while for it to kind of dry before you straighten your hair or blow dry it or whatever you're going to do. And I find this detangles my hair, it kind of conditions it a bit, it protects it from the heat, it's a heat protectant, um, it kind of smooths everything down, makes it feel really nice and silky. I just really, really enjoy this product and I've really been enjoying using it in June. And then my final two favourites are kind of bath and shower products. So the first one is this. This is a brand called Dirty Works, which you can pick up in Sainsbury's. And this is their Think of England bath soak. Um, me and Ben, when we did our first food shop a couple of weeks ago, we um, were looking to get a couple of bits for the bathroom, so like shower gels and stuff, and Ben wanted us to get a bubble bath, because he enjoys bubble baths now, and then he likes to pamper himself a little bit. And um, so he asked me to pick one out, and I just kind of picked this up and smelt it and instantly thought oh my god this smells like the soap and glory I think it's the calm one calm all bath soak it smells very very similar I think this maybe isn't quite as intense a scent as that one but it smells extremely similar um, so yeah this is a really nice bath soak I've used it a couple of times already and it gives you really nice bubbles, the scent really builds up and um, this is only 2 dollars I think it's 350ml so I think it's ever so slightly cheaper than the Soap and Glory one so if you like that one but you don't want to pay out for that all the time then this is a nice slightly cheaper alternative um, I'm just trying to see if it tells you what um, scents it has it has relaxing calendula flower extract with chamomile for super soft skin so um, yeah, it doesn't irritate my skin, it leaves it feeling soft and I just really really love this. The main thing that I love about this is the scent to be honest. My final favourite in June is a Soap and Glory product and it's the Sugar Crush Body Wash. I think I mentioned this in my last favourites video but the main reason I wanted to show this again was to show you how much I've now used up. I now only have this much of the bottle left and the main reason for that is because Ben's been using it. He's really been liking this um, body wash. So, you know, it's kind of like a unisex um, scent I think. It's not too girly, it's kind of got a sweetness to it but it's not a girly sweetness. It's got the lime in it which gives it kind of that tanginess and I really enjoy this. I also really like using this as a shaving lotion, it works really well for that. It kind of gives me a closer shave and it leaves my legs feeling incredibly soft and smooth afterwards so I've really been enjoying this throughout the month of June. So now on to my June empties. Like I said, I don't have too many. I think I only have five. So first off is these, which are the Garnier New Fresh Essentials um, 25 Ultra Cleansing Wipes for normal to combination skin. These were okay, but I think they kind of stung my skin a little bit. It didn't... I don't know if it just irritated it or what it did. It didn't kind of leave any red marks or anything but it just kind of felt slightly stinging when I was using it, so I probably wouldn't repurchase those. I used up my favourite deodorant, which is the Sure Long Lasting Protection in Bright, which you guys know I love and I will continue to repurchase. I have a mouthwash. I think it was my last empties video. I mentioned this brand of mouthwash, but it was a different um, flavour, which I didn't like. This is the flavour that I prefer. It's the Aquafresh Extra Care in Tingling Mint. I really enjoy this one. Definitely prefer over the other one that I showed you about told you about last month and these are alcohol free mouthwashes so you don't get that burning sensation in your mouth when you use it which I really like so I will be repurchasing this and then two more things I have a little sample that I got in a birch box this is the Gerda Spillman anti-aging serum um, this was okay it sunk into my skin really really quickly um, so I actually found it kind of difficult to use because it was kind of absorbing into my skin quicker than I could kind of apply it over the area that I wanted to. Um, but I don't think it really did anything special or anything like that and for the price point I wouldn't repurchase it. I think this is something like £115 full size um, which is definitely not in my budget so I wouldn't repurchase this um, but I figured since I had a sample of it I may as well go ahead and use it up so I did. And then my final empty is a product from Lush. This was the Dragon's Egg bath bomb. Obviously I don't have it to show you because I've used it up but this is one of my favourite bath bombs. 
This has actually been sitting around in my room for a while. Um, I got one of these, when I did my 500 subscribers giveaway, I gave away one of these bath bombs and whilst that was sat in my room, smelling up my room, I knew I had to go out and get myself one because it smelled so good. So I did and then I didn't use it straight away. I kind of had it for a couple of months and I've now kind of just gotten around to using it and I still love it. It smells amazing. It's kind of citrusy but not kind of like oranges and lemon zestiness. It's just like a nice soft fruity scent that kind of wakes you up, it's perfect for spring and summer, has the most gorgeous shimmer, um, golden shimmer in the center which kind of just spreads through your bath. One point, do not use this with a guy, um, Ben took a bath with me um, when I used this and he was covered in glitter which he wasn't too happy about but um, I love this bath bomb and will definitely repurchase it, if you haven't tried it definitely go and pick one of these up. So yeah, that was my quick, um, I was going to say May, my quick June favourites and empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys film favourites or empties videos, please leave, please leave them as a video response below so I can watch them because I love watching you guys' videos. Um, yeah, if there's anything you want a particular review on or anything like that, let me know. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!